Uh, local sheriff's office is concerned by the uptick in phony phone calls. Thanks for staying with us here at 530. I'm Renee Murphy and I'm Doug Profit. The Oldham County Sheriff's Office and the Better Business Bureau are working together after dozens of people have been the target of a jury duty scam. WHAS 11's Holden Kerwicki spoke with the victim of the scam today and he's on your side with how to protect yourself. Holden. Well, Doug Renee, the FBI has been warning people about this jury duty scam for the better part of a decade, but today's crooks are throwing in a new twist by adding an intimate knowledge of your neighborhood that they're getting from your local phone book. It's part of your civic duty. At one time or another in their life, they're probably going to be contacted about helping out with jury duty. However, something didn't sit right with Baxter Eves when he was called for jury selection. I had a, uh, a message on my answering machine and it said it was from the Oldham County Sheriff's Department about a pending citation and it was a time sensitive matter. Someone identifying themselves as Officer Brandon Melrose told Eves he had a warrant for his arrest, but there was an easy way to avoid jail. They wanted, believe it or not, target gift cards. After calling the Oldham County Sheriff's Office, Eves quickly found out that there was no Officer Melrose and that someone was attempting to scam him with a common con. And in the course of a day, we will probably handle about 80 calls from people who are either scammed or potentially about ready to be scammed. Hopefully, they still have their money. Law enforcement, your bank, will never ask for personal information on the phone, nor will they ever ask for money on the phone. That's not the process. That's not the way it's done. These days, scammers have become increasingly efficient by involving the names of judges, sheriff's deputies, police chiefs, and even using local phone numbers. It's just unbelievable what people will do, you know, to take advantage of other people. But you can protect yourself by offering to call back and immediately calling the police. Many times we've called these numbers through investigations and they show virtually no remorse whatsoever because they know there's a high probability we're not going to be able to locate them. With that type of sophistication and innovative thought, uh, one would think that they could do quite well in a legitimate business. If you feel like you have been the target or victim of a similar scam, you're being asked to call your local law enforcement officials. We've also attached more information on our website, whas11.com, so that you can be better protected. Doug, Renee. Thank you, Holden. Get those calls, Jeff.